Like many female founders that exist in Silicon Valley and everywhere else in the world, I have a type A personality and am also somewhat of a control freak. And there are many downsides to this in addition to the upsides that help to get all of uh, us type A people to where we are, in that handling everything and taking responsibility for everything can only get you so far. You will reach a point as a founder and as an entrepreneur where you need to start offloading tasks onto other people. And if you fail to do so, your business will also fail. I can give a comparison of what this was like when I saw two other female founders start a business. It was when I worked at a company called Georgetown Cupcake, which is a very popular Washington DC based cupcake shop that now has shops in New York and elsewhere. It, is an awesome place to work. I have to say it was amazing, but I learned a really important lesson when I watched the founders of Georgetown Cupcake get started. They are also very type A personalities. And in the beginning, they insisted on icing every single cupcake that went out of their shop. It had to have their signature swirl of cream cheese icing, and no one was capable of doing that. Now, these women were very savvy. They understood the importance of branding and having a consistent high quality product. And I understand why they wanted to ice every cupcake. And it got to the point where they needed to make TV appearances and they needed to go to charity events and they needed to deliver cupcakes to very high profile and important clients. And they could not always be in the shop and they could not always ice thousands of cupcakes in preparation of being gone for a couple of hours. And it took every ounce of wisdom they had and self-control to, to teach me and some other fondant artists and, and people at the shop how to ice these cupcakes, but they did it. And that's the lesson that I learned is, is I'm still really bad at this. In fact, it happens with Malcolm all the time. Malcolm will say, oh, how can I help? Like, I wanna... Well, you know, even in the creation of these videos, while it's just a hobby for us and something we do in our spare time, you know, I, I was talking to someone and I was like, oh, I, I should edit the videos and put them up. And she goes, well, you've never edited videos and put them up yourself in the past. And I said, well, yeah, I understand that you'll be better at it, but you have more on your plate right now. And I would appreciate it if you could allow me to learn so I could do this and take a little bit of work off your plate. But my first reaction is always like, listen, I know how to do it. I can do it better. I will do it better. Just let me do it. I'll better time for it. faster and yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's important for me to not do that, and it's a lesson that I'm having a really hard time learning, but it's a lesson that you should be aware of if you have a type A personality, and you should also figure out how to offload tasks onto other people, how to be patient with other people, how to give them resources to learn for themselves, and how to just trust them to figure it out. Because you may be amazing at what you do, but you will screw yourself over if you do not offload peripheral tasks.